So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video and today guys, I bring you possibly one of the best XP farms in this game. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this spot is a place I haven't seen barely anyone cover. I'm not going to lie, I haven't seen anyone cover it. Not like I'm looking, but it was recommended to me by my pal, uh, Silent Wraith, who, who showcased this to me on his build at uh, World Tier 4 and he was absolutely destroying it but earning a ton of XP. I'm currently on a World Tier 3 for this video anyway and you can see guys you'll see this on screen now. Look at my XP bar as I start this dungeon. Look at the XP bar as I finish this dungeon. Yes I am doing this and farming a Nightmare version of this which I recommend you guys do if you have access to Nightmare Dungeons. If you have access to Nightmare Dungeons you shouldn't really be farming normal dungeons. Now we can farm Nightmare Dungeons but hey uh, if you're still I'd say between a level 10 and 60 this is still a great great dungeon to farm either way for the XP. Now the Whispering Pines can be seen on screen now where this location is. I definitely suggest you come in here and checking it out. Now if you're new to Nightmare Dungeon Farming and you don't know how this is done, I've already made a complete guide on this which I'll link in the video description. But a quick heads up on how this is done. It's quite easy. You simply activate a Nightmare Dungeon. It doesn't matter what dungeon it is. Activate it. You need to go to that dungeon, go inside of the dungeon. Once you're inside of the dungeon, step back out of the dungeon. Then guys, you need to go to any other dungeon on the map. It doesn't matter which one it is. Go inside that dungeon and complete the very first objective. Whatever that objective is, rescue prisoners, slay enemies, whatever, complete it. Once you've completed it and the objective on your screen has changed, you then guys go back to that nightmare dungeon. Now from here, you can farm the nightmare dungeon and it's as simple as this. You get up to the last boss and this is the rule, you cannot defeat the last boss. If there's no last boss, you cannot complete the dungeon by doing the final objective. Simple as that. Once you're up to that point of almost completing the dungeon but not completing the dungeon, you simply leave the dungeon. Simple as that, then go back in, everything will reset. You don't have to quit out the game, none of that rubbish. Just simply leave the dungeon and enter it again. You can then farm it from that point on. Again, if you have access to nightmare dungeons these are what you should be farming now at least i wouldn't be farming standard dungeons if you're at a point where you can get those sigils i mean there's the xp within nightmare dungeons especially guys if you listen to this you need enemies within those nightmare dungeons to be three levels above you if they're three levels above you you're going to be at that point where you're getting best xp and it's going to be most efficient for you now how do you work it out in regards to getting a sigil that is uh, going to make the enemies three levels above you well it's as simple as this. All you need to do guys is take your level and take away 51 from said sigil. So if you're at level 80, take 51 away from 80, you are left with 29. Therefore guys, you need sigils to be a 29 uh, for the enemy within that nightmare dungeon to be three levels above you. If you're a level 77, you take 51 levels away from this, you end up with 26 or 51 numbers away from this, you end up with 26. 26 is what you need people. It is as simple as that. Now I'll put a chart on screen now if you can't work this out. I know guys, don't worry, I'm bad at maths too. But yes, stick to this chart. Those are the sigils you need in regards to having that nightmare dungeon enemy to be perfectly three levels above you. Again, you want to try and get yourself the Whispering Pines because once you have one sigil at that perfect level for the Whispering Pines, you can farm it over and over. That's all you got to remember and it's as simple as that. So yes, try and get yourself the Whispering Pines and load that bad boy up. Again, if you want to farm it, do what you got to do. Enter the dungeon, enter the Nightmare Dungeon, uh, go back outside, go to any other dungeon on the map, uh, complete the first objective for there. Then come back to the Nightmare Dungeon and run it up until the last boss or until you're just about to complete the final objective. Leave the dungeon and re-enter it. Now when you first come into the Whispering Pines people, uh, the first part is to literally just slay a couple of gatekeepers. Now I do recommend you covering every corner of this place because there's just grouped up enemies everywhere and it's all XP at the end of the day. And you don't want to miss an event. The events in here are absolutely hectic. So you want to be taking them on without a shadow of a doubt. But once you do the first section, you then just have to progress on. And as you do, guys, with your most dungeons, there's always a couple of big groups of enemies at the halfway passage. No different here. So take them out too. Now, the second part of this dungeon is where the goodness happens, where you have to slay all enemies. 
So go ahead guys and slay all enemies. The best part about this is there is a boss within this dungeon who you want to keep alive by the way if you slay if you're uh, farming this nightmare mode. So yeah, slay all the enemies, leave the boss. Then guys, once you've slayed all enemies and we're acting all of that XP, simply leave the dungeon. If you play on console, press up on your D-pad, uh, left shoulder, leave dungeon, or go to the map, then leave dungeon. Simple as that. Then re-enter this dungeon, people. And then just farm away. Now, what I will say is you want to be using those potions because there's no quitting out to main menu here. You don't have to reset every time you go in. So a potion will last you as long as it should by farming this. Another thing as well, guys. For me, on my work in progress Necromancer build with only half the things that I need and everything all over the place, it takes me about seven to eight minutes to run this. Probably, if I wanted to, I could probably get it done in six minutes. But I know for an absolute fact, guys, there are people out there with builds way better than mine, way more powerful than mine, way quicker than mine in every sense of the word, who can run this in easily under five minutes. Easily under five minutes. There's no two which ways about it making it absolutely ridiculously efficient in regards to earning that XP to level up. Now I found it most efficient for me because I'm now a level 72. This is actually footage I recorded about three days ago now. Uh, I had a friend actually send me his footage as well which you'll see a bit of on screen. You'll see before and after of him doing this. His XP bar just shoots up. He does it way quicker than me too even though he's on a Necromancer too but his build is just better than mine at the minute that is. Uh, but he's just slaying this thing. He can run it way way quicker as well. So the, the actual dungeon itself is great for that XP and again even if you ain't at the scent or the point of you being able to use sigils to run nightmare dungeons even still it's still great XP from this it's definitely one of the better ones in the game which I ain't seen many people talk about which is a good thing to know now if you're running this in a group I don't think you can do nightmare versions of it unless you just want to run the whole thing anyway that's fair enough if you're just going to run the whole thing and complete the boss uh, in a group you'll get it done way quicker but that ain't going to be a farm realistically is it so if you're playing this as a standard dungeon in a group it's going to be half the time the end area especially actually the first area because you can split off slay other enemies take out the two gatekeepers take out because don't forget as well in co-op it's split xp so it don't matter where you are in the dungeon you're both going to earn equal amount of xp plus you get that that bonus for being in a group plus you both have those potions earn even more xp so yeah keep that in mind but you'll do this so much quicker in a co-op group but again, I do most of my things solo. I know you, there's a lot of solo players out there that watch my videos. And this is a great, great solo farm. So either way, guys, a dungeon for new players, a dungeon for people farming those uh, nightmare dungeons is absolutely great at what it does. So yes, do what you got to do, guys, and take advantage of this world. Kind of whispering pines is a great, great dungeon. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps. Add to if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one